Alex and his girlfriend were almost killed in the East Coast area. It's my territory, yet I couldn't protect them. I'm ready to accept my punishment, sir. Ken, it's not solely your responsibility to monitor Alex's safety every moment. The family might not grasp the complexities, but... Lincoln Ambrose stopped abruptly, realizing the gravity of the situation. But someone must be held accountable. And so, I have to remove you from your position. You no longer work for the Ambrose family. Ken stood frozen, shock and disbelief etched across his face. Sir, please reconsider. Firing me is worse than killing me. It's done. Get out. Ken kept pleading and begging at Lincoln's feet until security stepped in intimidatingly. Groaning in pain, he got up. But just when he felt all was lost, Alex Ambrose walked in. Grandpa, this isn't fair. Please take back Mr. Stokes' punishment. Did he lick your shoes? He had one job and he failed to do it. Even if I died, it wouldn't have been Mr. Stokes' fault. His responsibility is to help the Ambrose family manage the business and take care of the East Coast District affairs, not my safety. Punishing Mr. Stokes isn't only unfair, it will also demotivate everyone who works for us. I think it's time we leave. Just trust me one last time, Debbie. I won't let anyone harm you again. Nearly a month had passed since the attack, and it was time to return home. But danger followed them closely, casting a shadow over their every move. Mr. Ambrose, I've heard you've left Harmony Island. Graham Sterling, the East Coast Foreign Trade Manager, wants to treat you to dinner at the Golden Mansion Hotel tonight. What was awaiting Alex and Debbie at the gala? Could it be another deadly attack in disguise? I thought it would be a private dinner. Looks like Mr. Sterling has invited the whole city. You think they will recognize you? Should we leave? Alex was contemplating, only things were about to get more complicated. Welcome, esteemed guests. Tonight, we gather to honor an important figure, a young gentleman whose presence signifies a new era for our city's business landscape. Whispers and murmurs rippled through the room as elite guests speculated on the identity of the mysterious figure. Who could it be? A rising star in the business world? And who are you, young man? Um, I'm... I'm... Al... He's Adam Childs. None had heard the name before, and for a moment, Alex and Debbie were relieved. But amidst them was a face that belonged to Alex's past. Hi, my name is Kathy Fairweather. Nice to meet you. Alex? Kathy! It's you, and that peasant is with you. How on earth did this pair of paupers get themselves invited to the banquet? Did you say paupers? Didn't he say his name was Adam something? What secrets lie beneath the glamour of the Golden Mansion? Uncover the truth with Alex and Debbie as they delve into a world of intrigue and power. Why keep waiting? All episodes of Insta Millionaire are available only on the Pocket FM app. Click on the link in the description to install now.